What's up? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. And today, um, we're about to check out, um, her name is Ashley. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I think, I believe she's from Chicago. And, um, you know, I've been watching her for some years now. You know what I'm saying? I never reacted to her content, but she funny as hell. And um, her reactions to, like, TV shows and all that is dope as hell. Um, so we're about to get into this video. This video may be a little long. So get your popcorn. Get your shit. Because we're about to get into this. My sister graduated and uninvited guests. They must have showed up. They must have showed up. We're about to get into it. Catch you fit later. Okay, listen. Let me just put this out here. I recorded what it is on Tuesday night. <laughs> so that's why I got the thing straight on. So y'all will get what it is on um, Wednesday when y'all supposed to. But y'all finna get this tonight. Listen. Because I did say I was going to give it to y'all tonight. But. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. First of all. Congratulations. I'm going to keep on saying this for the next couple videos. Now, for this video, this is going to be the last time. This is going to be the last time. Because this is about her. My little sister graduated from high school, ah, and she graduated with honors and everything. And you know, I just—I'm okay. just floating. I'm just being the big sister, the proud big sister that yes. I am because I am, you know. Okay. And I just knew that this weekend was going to be some shit, mm -hmm. but I just prayed that it would be. But I just knew that it would. <laughs> you just know. You just know. Okay? Right. Now my little sister, she had been planning out her graduation and her prom and everything for the past two years like especially when two plus years actually because she did the same thing with her eighth grade graduation i think i had showed y'all that shit like she wanted this she wanted that mm -hmm. she didn't necessarily get everything that she wanted back then because girl who the fuck are you <laughs> <laughs> bitch it's only eighth grade you're going to high school okay girl you still got four more years four more years all right but mm -hmm. um that's still a milestone too no 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 shade mm -hmm. um but I guess I feel like it was more so because of the pandemic and the fact that she has become so much more independent right. and um, you know during the pandemic like she was like listen I gotta get a job I gotta get a job you know and um, it wasn't my mama pushing her it wasn't her daddy pushing her telling her you know go ahead and get a job go ahead and do this you gotta contribute right. or whatever no she did it on her own she's been actively searching so she got a little job at Pop Bellies you know, um, so that she can do it in conjunction with school and it works well with her schedule. You know, she's mm -hmm. working on the weekends. And, um, which I applaud her because, baby, I would have need listen, first class of the day probably started like at 745. So that means you waking up at five something to get out of the house by six something so that you can get to school at the, at, at the least 720. So you can have enough time to go to your locker, get your books and be settled in the classroom before the bell rang, you know? Right. So, um, she did a lot more than I could have did because I would have, in this day and age, girl, I value all of my sleep. And then she going to work on the weekends. Oh, Lord. Okay, the weekend is for rest, all right? Right. Errands and rest, okay? And you're going to work on them. But, uh, air school, Lord, you know, so I gave it to her because at one point I thought she was going to eventually just say, fuck this job. But she said, no. You know, mama get her little job. Right, okay. <laughs> mama get her little job. Mama got her little bank account. So mama can order what she want to order all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Because she was mm -hmm. like, when, I was, when Ashley and Avery was there, all they was doing is, um, you know, band -aid stuff or whatever. So now she want to buy her little clothes. She want to get her little wardrobe up. Mm -hmm. So now she's a fashion over girl, okay? She's a sheen girl, you know what I'm saying? I still, oh, at least you frugal with it and you, you, you using your money wisely, you know? So a lot of the stuff that she wore, like to her, uh, I gotta take a picture. Oh, well, I didn't take a picture of her in her graduation jumpsuit, but it was pink and it had dyes like, uh, you know, rhinestones or whatever going down. It, it was really cute. It was really cute, you know. Uh, I said, all right, bitch. She picked that out herself. Mama had picked everything out. I said, you know what? Okay. Okay. Do it, bitch. Okay. Um. <laughs> So that happened. And she wanted all this stuff, you know. She wanted a whole send off the palm and she wanted this, she wanted that banner up the, 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 the balloons and you know, she had a little goodie bag for the uh candies. I said, Look at you, you giving your guests goodie bags and stuff. Yeah. 
And I mean, mama was up in there working. Like, she wouldn't allow us to do nothing. Every time I saw her, she was working on her stuff. Then I found out she was running for prom queen. I said, what? She was doing her flyers. Okay? I said, okay, cool. Mama is very ambitious. Okay? And I'm all the way here for it. You know, she get her mind on set on something, she just don't have to follow it through until she can't stop until she follow it through. You know? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I'm very much here for her like that. So, we finally get up here. And at one point, listen, to find out my, my sister graduated with honors and she's a part of all of these clubs and stuff, I'm going to just be honest with you, okay? Because it was a little touch and go with me and her. When she was younger, remember that whole thing, that little meme and, and video that be going around every, like, few months when they be like, if Johnny had seven apples and Peter ate two of those seven apples, how many more apples does Johnny have? Instead of saying five, a bitch will say three. Or a bitch will add and add, give you nine. And I'll be sitting here like, girl, what the fuck? Okay? And then at one point, it's like, we thought that she probably had a learning disability or she was probably dyslexic or, you know, something like that. Couldn't really calculate the stuff. No, kind of found out. It's just that when she gets nervous because you're you're yelling at her or not necessarily yelling at her, any type of inflection of the voice, you ain't even got to be yelling. You just have to, you know, she can hear the frustration coming. It shrunk her back and it just made her nervous and threw her off or whatever. So she mm -hmm. just say the wrong answers but then go to school and get the shit right she's smart as shit but she knew what she was doing okay so we got past that stage right and then kind of find out we get up in high school and mama is just like one of the smartest kids there one of the smartest kids there now at one particular high school she went to she was literally the top she was number one she was number one in her class okay mm -hmm. um she would have graduated valley victorian if she would have stayed at that school um, honestly, I'm glad she left that school because that school was not a challenge, okay? Um, so she went to Curie High School. If you know Curie out here in Chicago, y'all know Curie. And, um, you know, she was at the top of her class, too, like in the top percentile of her class. She wasn't that Victorian, salutatorian, but she was up there, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, honor student, uh, black student union, uh, girl kind of found out she was a Spanish honors. I said, come on, esta? Story it's the story began. I have deals. Where was this? I said, girl, I ain't know nothing about that. I opened up the goddamn, the, 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 um, what is it? The booklet, itinerary, you know, at the, um, graduation. And they got them listed as to where they at and mm -hmm. who's in this club and that club. And I said, Spanish, goddamn honest, Alicia. What the fuck? <laughs> girl, what? <laughs> I said, go ahead then, bitch. You know, she got all these freaking ropes because, you know, the, the the club and stuff, they give you the ropes or whatever. Mm -hmm. She had at least four, five or six of them bitches. And I said, what? Wow. Plus the national honor thing. Now, if you saw my picture that I posted of her, the blue thing was the national honor. So, you know, that's why she had the white robe on and she was sitting on the stage. I said, oh, you was the high, high honors because that's why your ass was up on the stage, you know. Mm -hmm. Because it was something they had on the white robe. But they were still sitting down with the rest of the uh, the class, the rest of the whole senior class. And she was sitting on the stage with some of the other people. I said, all right, you got to fucking do that shit, bitch. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that was cute. That was cute. That was probably the most smoothest, mildest day that we had out of this whole fucking weekend. And mind you, the weekend started Saturday. And it didn't end until Monday. Okay? Now, see, I felt some type of way because... They was coming over here. The send off is over here. <laughs> I have to be around people that I have not seen before, or people come to find out people that I have not seen before, and people that I haven't seen in a minute. Meaning some of my family, okay? And if I, I've said I've had social anxiety, and you know sometimes we be talking at our ass. But I realize that I really do have that shit, or I just have a low tolerance, and I'm very much introverted. In around my goddamn family, the ones that I don't talk to regularly, and that's what it is. If I if I was talking to them regularly and all that shit, it would have been cool. Mm -hmm. But baby, when I tell you it was the most awkward thing, and I was dreading it the whole time that it was coming up. It was like Wednesday. I kept thinking about it. Oh my god, people coming over here. People coming over here. People coming right. over here. And it was making my nerves just fucking bad. My anxiety was going through the roof. Mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking about it every day until it came. You know, I'm like, should I just stay up in here? 
well, let them come in and then go in my room or whatever or what what's gonna happen i don't know because my sister went to go get her hair done my mama told my sister to go get her hair done and then she went to go pick her up and they coming over here and baby the people that came in already my cousins come you know they didn't rock that husband and brought their boyfriends i was like i don't even know who the fuck that nigga is i mean i know that's your husband because i seen him on facebook or whatever we don't talk or whatever so i still see y'all on facebook you know and then you bring your boyfriend and i'm like who the fuck is i this? just seen him the other day and found out that he took y'all to new york to go see the boxing game that's cute or whatever my little cousin just be going everywhere and i be sitting here like well bitch Wow, bitch, you got niggas playing you out and shit like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Be t getting taken care of. Okay, that's how you do it. That's mm -hmm. how you do it. They be taking care of each other. That's what's up. I like it. You know, I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay. You know, but then at one point, it was just a lot of people. Her friend showed up. I said, okay, cool. Girl, she was stressing out a little bit because she was a little late. Because everybody was here before she was here. Right. You know, and um, she finally got here. She told everybody to go out. I said, Excuse you? Who are you telling to go outside and your ass ain't even ready? She has to get a, you know, because she wants to go get her hair done. She wants to go get her makeup done. The makeup was done flawless. The hair was done flawless. It was age appropriate for her. It fit, it fit her so well. My mom made her dress. If y'all go on my Instagram or actually go on my community tab you know i posted it on my um i posted the graduation pictures and you know her and her cap and gown and in her prom dress on my community tab so y'all can watch and go look at that mm -hmm. if you don't uh follow me on instagram um so she got that up and you know it was a struggle getting the balloons up mm -hmm. so when them people was there in my house I did everything that I could so that I wouldn't have to stay in the living room where they were at. I stayed in the back. I was going up and down the steps to the basement. I was putting clothes in the washing machine that I didn't plan on washing. You know, like the anxiety level was a lot. It was a lot. And mostly it was because it's people that I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm meeting my cousin's husband for the first time. And they've been married for a couple of years or so. And they've been together longer than that. I'm meeting my cousin's other cousin's boyfriend. I don't know mm -hmm. how long they've been together. So, that's that. You know, you got cousins and stuff that I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And then my cousin boyfriend, uh, husband was like, yeah, I be watching your videos sometimes. I said, bitch, what? <laughs> I said, wow. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now, see, <laughs> and then that just made me sink a little bit further in. I said, oh, my no, God, no. so no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. My sister came in. She finally got ready. We went outside. Um, you know, we had it decorated. I sh showed you the video on my Instagram, too, if you want to see her coming out. And it was simple. You know, she wanted some other stuff, but time couldn't allow for us to get everything that she wanted. But she enjoyed herself. She liked what we presented for her. She liked the send-off. You know, we were taking a bunch of pictures. Mama knew her ankles. Mama knew what she needed to do. Okay. I said, you ain't had to tell her nothing. She was... <laughs> With the okay. nails. I mean, mama had on blue for prom on Friday. I mean, on Saturday. Blue nails on Friday. I mean, Saturday. And then pink nails on um, Monday for her uh, freaking, what, graduation. Because her suit, her, her jumpsuit was, um, her pantsuit was pink. I said. Yes. Comfortable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But see, that wasn't really the tip of the cake. Now, see, that was mal. That was really mal. And that's not really why I'm here. Yeah, I'm here to gloat on my little sister, as you should. You know, because when they do good things, they do fucking good things, bitch. Because at one point, I ain't think the little girl was going to make it, okay? <laughs> but damn it, bitch. That went off. She went to prom. Sometimes it be like that, yo. Sometimes it be like that. You know, she was running for prom queen. She didn't get prom queen. She told me that they wanted a couple. So that's why the couple won. Or whatever. They let a couple win or something like that. I said, that's stupid, but okay. okay. You know, they was hating. You know, but whatever. She deserved, but it's fine. And I was like, you know what? Are you going to prom? Now, I had asked her this before. I said, so you, you, you got a prom day? She was like, no, some niggas... Some people had asked me, but I just, uh-uh, I want to go by myself, mm -hmm. okay? Because I want the attention on me. me. I said, bitch. <laughs> she said, this is my day. I'm getting all that. Uh, bump him. We ain't got time for that. It's supposed to be all about me. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? 
do what you gotta do. And see, my sister is so much, so, so different from us. So different from me and my other sister because my other sister, she didn't even go to prom. I don't mm -hmm. think she went to prom. She didn't care to go to prom. I went to prom because I just wanted to experience prom. You know, uh, I took my uncle to prom, um, you know, because he missed his prom. He missed his, I can't remember why he missed his prom, but it was, I think it was one of those situations because um, his parents, my grandparents, they're Jehovah Witnesses, right? Mm. Uh, they are Jehovah Witnesses. And I don't, I think it was because of religious reasons that they didn't allow him to go to prom or whatever. And so he missed it. But since he was an adult, um, he went to prom with me. And before you get any ideas, my <laughs> uncle was only two years older than me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's how come he was able to come. Like, he was only two years older than me. So, um, like, I'm telling you, me and my cousins and my uncle, we was like, we all in the same age grade. In the same age group, okay? It was my uncle. He would have been 38 this year. Um, no, he would have been 39 this year. He would be turning 39 this year. Or would he? Yeah, 39 or 38. I got to go back and look at the um, thing. I don't feel like doing the calculations. But he's two years older. He's two years older. So let's just say he's 37 now. Oh, no, he'll be turning 38. That's what it is. He'll be turning 38. <laughs> I had to write the first time, bitch. He'll be turning 38. You know, I'm 35. No. Then it's my cousin, um, Ariel. Well, Ariel. She want to say Ariel, bitch. It's Ariel. That's what we call her. Um, <laughs> she 36. No. She 35, but she turned 36. It's me, her, and my aunt. We all 35, okay? But see, she turns 36 this year. And then at the end of this year, uh, in September, my aunt will be turning 36. Wait, your grandma is young? Your grandma must be young. Then. Your grandma must be... About 50. Maybe. On September 11th. And then next year, I'll be turning 36 in January. You know what I'm saying? So, we all in that area. You know what I'm saying? And then it's my other cousin who's 34. And then my other cousin who's 33. And then my other cousin who's 32. And then my sister who's 31. And then it's my other sister who's 18. The big okay. age gap. And then their kids. Wow, okay? Yeah. Step kids like that. Step cousin and all that shit. Step up. But anyway, so, you know, I took him and we had fun. We had fun. You know, um, I'm not too much of a dancer like that. But my little sister, she was out there. She said, listen, girl, I was out there dancing and shit. I said, I know that's the fuck right. Bitch, they was out there all day. 5.30 to got them 11.30. Okay? I said, uh-uh. 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 And then when she get back from wherever she was... Girl, knock the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> just knocked out, bitch. Girl, just, uh, I said, you can't hang, huh? Call her. You, you can't hang, huh? <laughs> She's just tired. And then she had to wake up the next morning, you know, go get her, um, uh, what else was done? Because then Saturday, Saturday was the prom. Sunday, we was going out to dinner, mm -hmm. okay? They made it a lunch. And see, this is where the issue came. And if you saw my tweets, baby, I was about to act the ignorant ass fool. I was about to be one of those persons that was at the restaurant and just threw a fucking fit and just got real hood, ghetto, nasty with it because I was getting pissed off and I was trying not to do that. That is outside of my character and I don't like doing shit like that. And I don't like when other people do it too. But bitch, I understood that day why she people. Boy, hold up there. Wait a second. One second, gotta do something. We'll go off. When I have something planned, I want that shit planned to the T. That's how my little sister is too, okay? She had this shit planned out to the T, what she wanted. She originally wanted to go one place, Okay, she wanted to go to the Grand Lux Hotel, uh, 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 cafe downtown. Okay, that's fine. You know, it would accommodate whatever size people that we had because they have banquet halls or whatever that you can rent out or whatever. Fine. Mm -hmm. We was only inviting the immediate family, and that was it. Keep that in mind. Next thing you know, 
I get a text from my mom saying that, oh, they didn't change the restaurant to the Cheesecake Factory. Mind you, I'm thinking, okay, fine. It don't matter because this is her day. I'm thinking that this was her idea, my sister, to change it to the Cheesecake Factory. Once again, downtown. No. Out there in Orland Park. I said, bitch, why are we coming all the way out here? Right. Because it's like a halfway point for my aunt who is out there in Indiana and my grandma and my granddad who is out there in Indiana and a halfway point from Chicago. I said, okay, fine. That's none of my business. I'm not driving. I'm just getting in the car with my sister who drove us. All right. Mind you, y'all have to remember, my mom had back surgery and that's why she's over here and I'm watching her and I'm taking care of her because she had back surgery. Um, it was a cyst. Like, she's prone to have cysts in her back that keeps coming mm. back. They're either under the skin, and then sometimes they want to protrude and give her problems, okay? And so, this time, they had to go in and actually open her up and get that fucking sack out. And so, she literally had, she got, like, almost 20 stitches in her back, you know? And wow. the surgery was, like, two weeks ago. Literally. Two and wow. a half weeks ago, probably. So, her womb is not even healed. It's not even close to being healed, okay? Plus, she a diabetic. You got to put that on, on, on top of that because, you know, sometimes it takes them a little slower to heal because of the diabetes or whatever. Um, and she's been getting that in check. So, I've been watching her with that and, and helping her with that, making sure her womb is uh, cleaned and making sure there's no infection setting in or whatever, if things looking right. She get her stitches taken out on Thursday and we want to see how they're looking too. Okay, girl. My mom is a soldier because she could have easily said, you know, I got the surgery, my back hurt, it hurts when I move, it hurts this, it hurts that. I'm not going to be able to make anything. She still came out. She said, I'm not going to miss this shit. This is my daughter. I'm not going to miss this shit, okay? And I said, okay, fine, good, 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 good. You know, so I was getting frustrated because of her because I know that she was going through some shit and everything that was going on that could go wrong almost went wrong, you know? We... My sister wanted to be down at the Grand Lux, and it was my aunt who changed it to the Cheesecake Factory just so that they can be convenient. And our whole thing was, if you couldn't make it, bitch, you couldn't make it. Because honestly, it could have just been me, my mama, and my sisters, and her dad. That's it. Because that's what we wanted. But since y'all wanted to come, come. And just know that you're going to pay your own shit, because you're not going to freeload off of us. Okay? And my auntie, this particular one, she is the auntie who married to the man that got money. And she got a little money herself, okay? So, keep that in mind. But see, I got a little money too, you know? And my thought was, I was going to pay everybody shit. I was just going to pay everybody them, you know? Regardless of what the price was, I was going to pay it. I got it. It is what it is. It's nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, we get to the Cheesecake Factory. Mind you, you have to have a reservation, right? 2.30, okay? We get there literally at 2.00. 24. Fine. Some of my cousins, my cousins was outside. I said, oh, I didn't know that they was coming, but they were there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't them that wasn't giving me, that was giving the issue. Okay. Um, there was a situation that was going on with my other cousin who had the boyfriend. She didn't bring the boyfriend this time. Thank God, you know, and not that we didn't want him, but because of all of the people that wound up showing up, it wasn't needed. It wasn't needed. Mm -hmm. She says the only reason why she was showing up she didn't really want to be there because, as I told y'all, my grandparents are Jehovah's Witness. And my aunt, she's a Jehovah's Witness too. You know, her and her husband. Excuse me. And my cousin is disfellowship. And if you know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses, if they disfellowship, uh, they basically tell you you can't associate with anybody that's disfellowship, even if they're in your own household, even if they're your own family. They sent her letters talking about something, basically, we can't talk to you. And I said, oh, that's fucked up. Mind you, my aunt, my cousin said, my aunt and her, they used to talk all the time. All the time before this. And I said, wow, that is fucked up. That's fucked up as hell. Okay? And so, because of that, she didn't want to be there to deal with their attitudes. And to deal with them deliberately ignoring her. And that is exactly what my grandma did. She didn't say hi when she came up. We literally all standing by each other. She hugged and said hi to everybody but her. And that is one reason why I'm not a job witness. Because my grandma did the same thing to my mom when she got disfellowship the second time. I didn't remember her doing that when she got disfellowship the first time. But when she got disfellowship the last time, she's she 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 she's back in but she's inactive. 
because you know health issues and stuff but the same thing is in the pandemic or whatever when she got this fellowship the last time my grandma completely shut her out it was like she was invisible like she didn't even have a child mind you my mama is her oldest daughter her oldest child period and i said wow i just didn't like the way that went down i didn't like the way that made me feel and i did not like the way my mama was feeling throughout that whole time okay and that is one thing i'm honestly can say i can never forgive my mom my grandma for that i'm not ready to forgive her for that because mm. yes. you allow the religion no shade no shade you allow the religion right you let the religion dictate the relationship between you and your child. I don't care how old, how old, I said how old, how old they are. If you let a religion, because we ain't even going to go deep into religion and if it's real, if it's fake, where it come from, we ain't going to go there. So I, I feel you, Ashley, I feel you to cause division and cause you to stop talking to your child to talk talking to your grandchild why what's i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it anyway so that happened okay <laughs> i know y'all like damn girl this is yeah <laughs> fucked up fucked up there's a lot of tangents that goes all into the story so you got that my grandma and my granddad show up i didn't even know they was coming they show up and I was like okay fine I guess because they're not going to be able to come to the graduation because it was too late for them to drive from Indiana and they're old you know my granddad's site ain't that good and you know all of that stuff so and then it was raining later that day so they would have got caught in the rain by the time it got rain and now I don't want them driving in the rain so you know it was a good thing that they didn't show up so they came to the dinner uh, the lunch they showed up with my mama's cousin, older woman. I didn't even know who the fuck she was. I mean, I knew her from back in the day, but I didn't remember how she looked. Like, people don't look the same, okay? People have aged, people have shrunk and everything. So I'm like, who is this? All these old people just start showing up, okay? And then, you know, um, my cousin is there with her husband. Fine, that was okay. My other cousin is there. My grandma show up. My granddad show up. Then my other aunt that we thought was going to stay at the house, she done showed up. This is the one that got problems and issues and shit, you know, and she had cut up in a minute. And it's the one that you just got to sit back and, and, and think like, please don't do this. Please don't act the ass because we will whoop your ass up in this bitch. Okay? <laughs> That's the one that you just got to fucking watch out for because you just never know what no. they're going to do. Mm -hmm. You know? She'll probably fall out in the middle of the goddamn floor for a fucking attention. That type of person. You know? <laughs> Girl, she showed up. I looked at her and I said, what the fuck? And I just kept it moving. I just kept it moving. Anyway, so we in there trying to get the, the seating together. Now, we thought it was supposed to be a party of 12. Next thing you know, it went to a party of 15. Then it went to a party of 18. Then it went to a party of 20. Mind you, our reservation was for 230 the Cheesecake Factory is inside the fucking mall. Yep. I said, attached to the goddamn mall. And I said, bitch, what the fuck is this mall shit? Okay? That's one. And I was just, ugh. I was just like, okay. Here okay. We <laughs> so we sitting up there waiting to be seated. And it kept on getting pushed back because people just kept coming, coming, yep. coming. They're trying to accommodate us so all the parties that's together can sit together. But no. Every time we get up there asking, so how long it's going to be, it's somebody else showing up. My oh, aunt and her God. husband shows up with his sisters and his mother. People that don't know my sister. People that ain't never had a conversation with my sister. Next thing you know, oh, I forgot my other cousin. She showed up with her kids, her two kids, right? Keep that in mind because all of a sudden, her baby daddy shows up with his two kids. So he got all four of his kids there. Because her two kids are his two kids plus two kids from his other baby mom. So I guess it was, it was this weekend with the kids and they showed up and this motherfucker truly didn't even know why he was there. I said, oh my God. And then that really took the cake. And I was just really pissed. I was so pissed off because I'm just like, 
this is not it, 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 it all these people keep on showing the fuck up and now the goddamn service is going this way going that way and then when we finally be able to get two t uh, tables they told us they was gonna give us tables and all this shit baby they gave us two booths okay two booths now one thing about me is i'm not gonna get up in no booth okay because baby all this ain't gonna fit in <laughs> all this ain't gonna fit in it so we go over there and at this point, my mom is just sitting there, and she's just looking tired. She's looking drained and everything. And I'm just like, I'm hoping her back is not hurting, you know, because, yeah, we haven't put no, you know, I got to go in the bathroom and look at it and see if everything is okay. She hasn't even taken her medicine. She hasn't even eaten anything. And I'm just like, I'm concerned about her at this point, and I'm concerned about my little sister. And she just, my sister kept it together. My sister kept it together better than I would have because I would have cussed every last one of the motherfuckers out. <laughs> and then they probably would have called me ungrateful as shit. And I would have yeah. been like, well, bitch, I didn't ask you to come. I didn't. I didn't ask for none of this. Okay. Okay. Period. And then <laughs> we let them go sit down. My mama was going to sit at the booth, but she couldn't sit there because of the way the thing was on her back. It was pressing against her back. And yeah. so we was like, but y'all told us we was going to get tables. So they trying to find some tables or whatever so it can fit 12 of us and all the rest of us or whatever. At this point, somebody else pop up. I'm getting pissed and I had went outside. I went outside because I was just about to go. And I just remember, like, bitch, you ain't drive here. You ain't got your car. You ain't got no car here or whatever. Y'all heard me say you ain't got your car because I be dropping my mama shit sometimes. But um, I was like, okay, you know what? <clears throat> just take a breather. My other cousin was outside with her husband. They was like, I just don't understand what's going on. I said, I don't understand either. Right. And then we looked behind her. It's outside seating. It's outside seating. Nobody is out there. We go in there and ask them, how come we can't go out there? Oh, we'll check with the manager. We'll check and all that stuff. Never got back to us. But then a couple comes in, a black couple at that, and they take them outside. I said, what the fuck? And when we left, it was more people outside. I said, bitch, you could have put our whole party out there. You could have put our whole party out there and saved all this fucking trouble. I said, ain't this some bullshit? And when they finally get us the stuff to sit down, and then my, my damn sister's goddamn daddy was late. We separated. My sisters, they're over there on this side in the booth. We over here on the table. And I'm mainly over there because I'm keeping an eye on my mom, you know, because her back and everything, trying to make sure she okay. At one point, she was like, fuck it, I don't even have to eat. I said, no, you're going to eat. You're going to eat. Mm -hmm. And then, bitch, when we finally get the food, when we finally get the food, I said the cheesecake. Now, see, y'all hyped up. I heard people talk about the brown bread and all this stuff. I didn't get the height. I didn't get the height. Maybe it was the location, but I didn't get the height. I didn't get the height, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I get some food. Girl, I looked at the goddamn menu, and I'm like, okay, I'm trying to watch my figure or whatever. I'm trying to still lose weight, but still, you know, this could be a semi-cheat day or whatever. Have a little cheat meal and everything, but don't go overboard. Get you a little salad with your meal. You know, you don't got to get a hearty, uh, you know, appetizer or whatever. Get you a little salad and then get you an entree. I said, okay, cool. That's what we're going to do. Turn to the salad page, and I'm like, why is all these salads, the calories over a 1,000? I said, what the fuck? Y'all had to tell me it's the dressings and stuff. And see, I ain't know all of that. See, this y'all goes to show. I don't be going out to restaurants and shit like that, okay? Y'all be asking, oh, what y'all be doing up in Chicago? Bitch, I don't know. Because I be in the house. I order, okay? And I be half, and I'll say the rest for later, okay? You know, that's what it do. And so, I was just like, oh, my God. So, I just fucked around and got a Caesar salad. <laughs> and then I got a pasta meal. I ain't even eat, and I'm the type of person, if I'm gonna eat my, if I'm gonna order something, I'm gonna eat it. Especially if I go to the restaurant, ain't no, I'm gonna I'm get what I'm, I'm gonna I'm eat that shit. Girl, I ate half of it. And that was more than what I wanted to eat. Because the pasta noodles were fucking, and I just didn't, I didn't want to keep having a waitress come and say, uh-uh, you have to redo this. And, you know, I don't like sending food back yeah. for the most part because, baby, I don't want them spitting in my shit. I don't know what they're doing back there or whatever. They're feeling some type of insult because I sent the food back and all this shit. But, you know, the noodles was a little hard. Some of it was soft. Some of it was hard. Some of it was dry. And I just said, fuck this shit. I'm not going to do it. I just, whatever, okay? And the only reason why I didn't do that and when it caused no stress because the waitresses, the waitress and the waiter that we had, Amani and um Tony, they were they they did their shit. Had no problems with them at all. I mean, it was upbeat, peppy, smile on their face. You know what I'm saying? And when I tell you we tipped Amani real good, baby, we tipped her ass real good. Because I said, girl, we got to stick together. 
<laughs> I said, I know they was running you ragged, bitch. Okay? We gon' and she said, and we tipped her in cash. And she was like, thank you so much, because, you know, they be, uh, it's something about them charging. If you tip on the card, yeah. they be taxing it or taking some of it out, and they don't get the full tip. Okay? Mm-hmm. And I was mm-hmm. like, mm, well, here go this cash. Here go this cash. I mean, bitch, we over-tipped her ass. Listen, if I would have had it on me, I would have gave her a hundred dollar in tip. Okay, shit, all this shit, and I'm talking about just my party because I wasn't paying for them no more. Okay, because at this point I was pissed. I was pissed. Okay, y'all pay for y'all shit. And then my my mama cousin we up there talking about some. Well, um, Vicky husband, that he the one with the money. He should pay all this stuff. We ain't should. We shouldn't have to pay this. He got the money. He should pay. No, bitch, you should have stayed your ass at home. I hate a bitch that's like that. I, you don't even know that man for you to be talking about something he should pay. And this ain't even his event. So why should he pay? We didn't even invite your ass like that. Girl, I'm just like, get Child. me the hell out of here. Okay? <laughs> it was so fucking frustrating. Y'all see me tweeting about it. I was ready to fucking go off. I bet. I was so glad to just fucking leave. Okay? I said, mama, come on. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. And then half of them didn't even speak to my sister. This is what it was for, my sister, okay? Then my granddad over there bothering her, telling her, well, you know, she shouldn't be doing this. And, you know, he didn't really like the fact that she was wearing makeup. And she was like, well, bitch, I'm 18 years old. I got my own job and I make my own money. And um, my mom said it's okay, so what the fuck? I said, ooh. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I said, snappy. (laughs) I said, I know that's right, girl. But um, that was going on, and I just felt bad for my sister. Because even though she said she had no okay time, but I know she didn't like it. I know she didn't like that little dinner. So that's why we're doing later this week. We're going to do, you know, just me, my mom, and possibly my other sister if she's not out of town. Because she's only in town because she's doing training for her new job or whatever that I told y'all about. You know, that's not even in Chicago. It's in Lincolnshire. You know, she's an hour away. So, and she been going back and forth, back and forth. And while she was here, she fucked around and got vertigo and MSG poisoning, you know, on um, Thursday night when she got here because she ate some Chinese food that had too much MSG or whatever. And it triggered her vertigo. And she was just fucked up for the past couple of days. And, oh, my God, it was just a mess. But then it was time for the graduation. They went to go get their hair done, got their makeup done, and the graduation was supposed to start at 5 o'clock, end at 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, right. I said, oh my God, okay, that's cool, two hours, you know, sounds about right. And then my sister was like, but I gotta be there at 4 o'clock. I said, bitch, what? Why we gotta be there at 4 o'clock? So that means we gotta be sitting there for three hours? Three hours? Girl, and then left around 3 o'clock, and then we was gonna leave at 3 o'clock, Okay. Leave to go out there at 3 o'clock. But, bitch, we ain't fucking around and left until, like, 3.20, 3.15, something like that. I said, oh, my God, girl, I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. I'm trying to do a hair. I'm trying to get a, um, get a clothes on. Get a gown. That's when I found out that she had all them clubs in. I was sitting there like, damn, bitch. You just made me feel stupid. I was sitting here. I'm sitting there looking like I'm looking at the fucking, um... Uh, uh, what's it? The the the, the, the thing that has everything. What is the pamphlet or whatever, girl. I'm looking at it at the um graduation. I was like, damn, my sister just made me feel like me and my other sister ain't doing it <laughs> in high school. I said, what? Did we just coast through? Mind you, I went to a magnet high school. I went to Whitney motherfucking Young, bitch. That's honest in itself, okay? That ain't nothing to sleep on. And my sister went to Jones, and that ain't nothing to sleep on. And I said, well, shit, did we not do enough even though we went to those type of schools? Because we have all, I mean, we had some honors, but we didn't have all of that. I said, shit. Look at you, Miss Fancy, smart ass, okay? And I was happy. I was proud. I was like, oh, look at you. <laughs> You know, of course, you know how parents be stressing people out. She was being stressed out by my mom because my mom kept on, oh, do this. Won't you take your hair down now? Take your hair down. No, bitch. Just wait till I get to the goddamn thing. I'm going to tell her that too. Calm down because you're going to stress her out. I don't know what it is about parents when you get to a big event, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and they just all of a sudden just want to do it. Boy, let me tell you, they want everything 
done correctly. If it ain't done correctly, I'm telling you, especially my mama, she's gonna tell you about yourself. <laughs> she's gonna be like, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you make sure you did this? Did you... Oh my God, I love you, mom. But <laughs> As a matter of fact, we just had this discussion the other day. It was like, okay, like, <sighs> Do everything for you, and you like no, just 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 calm down, just calm. You're stressing me out, and I knew that's what was happening, but my sister didn't want to say it. But I was just trying to tell her, calm down, let her just do what she needs to do. So we finally get there, let her out. You know, her daddy was already there. I said, oh, he popped up on us. I said, nigga, where you come from? Oh, I was here ten minutes ago. I said, oh, okay. Go let her go. Um, had trouble at one point trying to get a cap on. I said, now how the fuck we go get this cap on? Okay. You know, so they had to help her put the cap on. Um, we finally got in there, got seated or whatever. We saw her come in on the stage. <laughs> she get her little award. I, let me tell you something. So they get their diploma, right? And I just realized that they had like little photo booths or whatever, like little manual photo booths with the Girl, they have photo booths to shit down there. Like, you can stand in front of it and they take their picture or whatever with their diploma and all that shit or whatever. I said, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The times have come up, bitch. We had this in my school. Right. Way. I said, I feel a little jelly because I showed them. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if my sister got a chance to take a picture because when they called her name, first of fucking all, girl, my mama said, we ain't going to sit up here to the whole thing. We're going to leave out at 6.30, okay? As soon as her name get called, we see her walking across the stage and all that shit. We're going we gonna, to we gonna go into the uh in, in, into the car or whatever. Because I told y'all, my mom in her back, so it's causing her to walk a little bit slower and everything like that. And so she was using me as a crutch, you know. And so I'm just walking with her. I was like, so by the time we get to the car, it's probably going to be 6.40. <laughs> because, you know, we got to walk slow for it. But um, I'm thinking like... Okay, well, you know, she's going to get called. It's not going to... I thought it was going to go back to, you know, uh, alphabetical order. And even then, I didn't know it was going to go back to vision like that in alphabetical order. I thought it was going to go alphabetical order like they had it printed in the pamphlet, right? But no, bitch, they went back to vision. And even if it was alphabetical order, she still would have got called, like, early on, like she did. Like, she got called real quick. And we ain't used to that. Like, in our family... The last names are Payne. My last name is Miller, so that's in the middle of the shit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, my aunt, other people, we got Williams, Payne, and um, Spearman. Bitch, we used to be in the middle to the end. <laughs> so we used to... You know what's so wild? You know what's so crazy? I got cousins with that, with all those last names, bro. That's, that's just weird, bro. That's weird. <laughs> Just sitting there for a while. Girl, when they called her name, we was like, wait a minute. Hold up. And mind you, she was on the stage. So she ain't get to come down like everybody else. When they go up there, get the um, diploma, the little booklet. They come down the stage and then they go around and they go to the little photo booth, take their little picture. And then they go sit back down. You know what I'm saying? It was cute. Then they do the... Of course, you had some of them come up there trying to do their little dance and shit. Girl, it was one girl. I'm going to tell y'all something. Parents. I don't give a fuck if these kids is 18 years old, 17 years old, they graduate in high school. Make sure they, and I don't care if they think they got a mind that they got them on. Make sure that they practice to walk in them heels that they put on. Okay? If you're going to put on heel, make sure that they fucking fit and advance and they can walk in them. Because that video that girl I posted, <laughs> I said, man, what is going on? I mean, the heels were so big on her little feet. They were cute, but they were too big for her feet. And she didn't know how to walk. And she was, oh my God, she was like a turtle. Because it was like if she took the wrong step, her foot would have turned this way and she would have just fell. And I felt so bad for her. But it was one girl... She had her robe open when she came off the stage, and she had her little dress on, maxi dress, and that bitch kept riding up. I said, listen, if she move her leg a little bit too wide, you're going to see her cooch. And I'm like, girl, pull that shit down. I'm thinking one of the adults going to tell her to pull her shit down, and they never did. Either pull your stuff down or close your robe up. What are you displaying? It was off-putting. I said, you, you ready to get out of here? <laughs> huh. Mm, okay. Cool. But, you know, after that... We didn't even go out to dinner because it was late and we was just tired. We was just bushed, okay? We was just fucking through. 
Um, so like I said, we're gonna go out to dinner. Um, she got her some Fridays though, so that was fine. We're gonna go out to dinner later this week and um wherever she wanna go, you know. And um hopefully we just have a good time with us. Like we wanted to, okay? Girl, y'all put it down in the comments if y'all congratulations to all the graduates out there. If y'all got some graduate stories, put it down there. You know, um you got some terror stories about your family coming through and people unannounced guests coming through just fucking shit up. Put it down in the comments. What's fucked up ain't nobody show up to my graduation. Not a soul. Not a single soul in my family. I think my mama was there. She was sitting in the back. My mom. I, I'm trying to remember if my mama was there. I'm trying to. I want to say my mama was there, but I don't remember. <laughs> it was bad to say I don't remember. I don't think she. I don't think. I really don't think. I think. Yeah. I don't have memories that well of graduation because it was just a lot of shit going down. And I wind up not even actually getting my diploma that year. I just got my diploma in 2018, but I graduated with honors in 2009. Um, hopefully, I have some type of proof. Um, and I need, you know what's crazy? I need to be calling my school and be like, well, um, <clears throat> I know that y'all, that ITT Tech was not accredited, but. Um, I was sent something saying that um, I have eight credits. Okay. I have eight credits to add to the credits that I have. So, will I have early graduation? Because I was taking business. So, that means that, you know, that's why I'm like, I already took psychology before, uh, I don't know how it, y'all. Oh, we're gonna talk about this ITT tech situation too, y'all. But to tell y'all some shit. Next video, I'm gonna holler at y'all in a little bit because I got some shit to do. I gotta get off here. I've been online uploading and everything today, so and I really wasn't supposed to work, but hey, gotta get it in before my wife wake up. I'm trying to chill today, so um, until next time, shout out to Ashley. Uh, I really love supporting her, you know, um, let me make sure I'm still subscribed. Okay, yeah, I'm still subscribed, but that bell ain't on, and I don't understand why, I don't understand. But, um, shout out to Ashley. She on the road to 100K, finally. It's been a while, it's been a long, long time. I feel like she's supposed to be at a million by now. Is this girl funny as hell, she's hilarious. I would love to just hang out with her one day, you know, treat her. You know, and we just had, you know, just fun. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, because we're here, bro. We got to stick together. Like she said, we got to stick together. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, because um, this video is already long, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.